Welcome everyone. Glad to see you this morning. How's everyone? Hi, I'm Karen Smith and I'm a lecturer here at UBC in the Department of Microbiology and Immunology. I mainly teach first year cell biology students. I get really excited about teaching students about the cellular process that occur on something that's so small we can't even see it with our naked eye. We know that students might be concerned about doing online classes, but let me ease your fears. Your online class is going to be an opportunity to engage with other students. We also have a lot of support for you because there's a person behind that online class and that's your instructor like myself. And we want you to be successful and we're going to do what we need to do to ensure that you learn the material you're successful and that you can move on to your other classes at the university. So when you join my online class, what you can expect is we spend a few minutes at the start of class just checking in with each other as a community. And whether we do this by audio and video online or we do that through the chat, it gives the students an opportunity to welcome each other and just say hello. The teaching online is about making that class interactive. So if we go to the next slide. There's lots of powerful online tools and activities that we use in the classroom that we're going to use in the fall that are gonna help you engage with that material. Because sure, you could go read on your own and you could watch a video, but that's not necessarily processing and learning the, that conceptual knowledge in a really deep way. So for our classes, what we like to do is we send off students electronically to a breakout group. This allows you to engage with the material, but also meet the people that you might be attending classes together for the rest of your life. And this is going to provide that study strategy support that you really need in higher education. You can also expect to have something that resembles somewhat of a lecture, but this is broken up by me asking you questions about the material. So you'll be using your tablet or your cell phone to answer what we call clicker questions so that you can click in on an answer and you can gauge how well you're learning and how well you understand the material. And it also gives you an opportunity to participate with others and see what others are thinking and how they're doing in the class. And by having a very structured, what we call learning path, a pre-class work, in-class work, and post-class work, it really helps students keep on track. So a lot of opportunities at online learning is that you can do things on your own time. All right, so have a great week. Congratulations on getting accepted to UBC. I hope to see you uh, at some point on campus at UBC, but in the meantime, I think you'll have an amazing experience just being a student um, in this online environment.